So this is going to be a brief Posh Sidekick tutorial. Once you download Posh Sidekick, it all happens natively on your phone automatically. So you no longer have to manage anything. I used to use Simple Posher, still do in conjunction with this, but Simple Posher is 90%, maybe 95% automated. You still have to kind of auto capture some things. You still have to make sure that it's running, that it didn't get stopped, that it didn't lag out. It's great. Don't get me wrong. Obviously it costs 10 bucks. This is a next step up in a lot of ways because it allows you to auto share all day. You don't have to focus on it yourself. Yourself. You can just let it do its job. It also will auto offer, which is another really cool feature. So as you can see all mine, if we click into the shares, we go last seven days. It's shared roughly 9,000 every single day, which is what I set it to. Sell shares is pretty much all of those. Community shares is a little bit more, a little bit more from party. It's only done 200 today. So obviously we'll pick that back up, but I did just shut this off because I'm going to be on vacation for about a week. So it's probably not sharing as many today for that reason as well. You can also have it unfollow as well. You could also see how much revenue it's brought in for that specific day with those bar charts. You could also have it make offers. So if you click into the offers, you can see how many offers it made and what revenue was as a result of those specific offers. It's a great product. It's automated completely. You don't have to focus on it, right? So if you want to set this up, you can sign up through the link attached to this lecture. If you want to see the activities that your actual closet has done, you can go to activities on the bottom and scroll through and see how many offers it's made, how many follows it's initiated, how many shares and what it's shared specifically, right? If you want to make sure that you set it up correctly. Just click settings up in the top left right there. So that little settings icon, then you can select how you want it to actually operate, right? So do you want it to sell share? Do you want it to party share? You don't want it to share from parties. You just X that off. You want it, don't want it to share from communities. You want it to all be sell shared. Then you just obviously uncheck that, right? If you want it to share back, you toggle that on. It's very self-explanatory. You can also set it to randomize sharing order, share by category. So I typically have it sell share only. I, I will toggle party share on every once in a while and community share on every once in a while just to change it up. But you Usually speaking, I just have sell share on, randomized sharing, and I have it up to 9K. You don't have to start there. If you have a closet with, you know, a few hundred listings or a few thousand listings in the beginning, don't share that much. Totally fine. Especially if you're just starting to share that much, you definitely don't want to do that. So I would start slow for about a week, then medium for the next week on week two, and then up it to nine on week three. Obviously, if you're just getting into sharing and using share bots, right? But I obviously have it up to the 9K because I've been doing it for a while. I also have it unfollowing people. I don't have it following. I don't have have it following back. I have it unfollowing people just because I've followed so many people in the past thinking that that was a good strategy. It doesn't really matter anymore on the way that Poshmark is set up right now. So don't really worry about it too much. If you want to make bundle offers to likers, you could also set that up. I don't do that because I drop ship products. So I want to maintain my margin on every single product that I'm making an offer for, but I do have it offering to likers. So if you have it offering to likers, it will go through your actual products. The people that have liked that listing, it will make auto offers to those people based on who's actually liked that listing. So it is a game changer because obviously it increases urgency for the timed offer, but it also decreases the price as well based on what it, you set it as. So it's going to increase your sales with these timed offers. The people that are clearly interested in that product, it's a game changer. Okay. So if you want to do that, you just toggle on offers to likers. You can set the listing percentage discount. Again, if you're drop shipping, if you're not drop shipping, then obviously this doesn't matter to you clearly, but if you are drop shipping, then you want to make sure that your percentage that you're offering is accounted for in your profit margin, right? Because if you're only marking your products up, say 30%, or 40% and Poshmark is taking that high fee already, you're not really going to have much built-in margin to make more offers percentage to likers, right? So make sure you're marking your products up enough initially ahead of time. I typically mark mine up 75%. So I have plenty of wiggle room in my margin to make these offers to likers. And that's why I suggest that. So you could set it to whatever you want there. Percentage based wise, the lowest amount that you can set, I believe is 10%. The lowest amount of shipping discount you can offer is 499. And so those two are the lowest that I have set in there. I typically have send intervals every five minutes. You could change that if you wanted to, you can make it 15 minutes. 30 minutes, an hour. I typically like to make the most offers possible. So I have the send intervals at five minutes, right? If you want to make offers for specific categories or set specific rules, you can do that. I don't really do that. And you can also set it to make counter offers if people make offers to you as well. Now I relist products as well. I make sure that that's the way that I can obviously keep items fresh. If they're sitting at the bottom of my closet and they haven't necessarily got a share in a while, I'll make sure to relist them. It's just a different way to get more visibility on products that have kind of died out and haven't really got much sales. Although keep in mind that if you're not monitoring your stock levels, you may or may not want to toggle this on or off based on the fact that like maybe those products have gone out of stock or changed prices if it's been a long time. So keep that in mind. Although I use it, if it starts to be a problem, just turn it off. I'd recommend that you start with it. Again, you could always cancel that order if you need to, and then just turn it off. No big deal, right? And you can see as you scroll through here, it's really self-explanatory. Do you want to share? 
automatically? If so, how much? If so, when? To who? To what? To parties, right? Or whatever. Do you want to make offers? Again, just toggle that on. Do you want it to auto follow? Toggle that on. And as you go through the settings, it's really easy, really self explanatory to set that up. Another really cool thing that they have in the app and actually on their website is tutorials. So if you need tutorials of how to actually set this up yourself, just go to the website or go to the app. You can watch all the tutorials as well and they'll walk you through literally everything. But I can't recommend this app enough. This is great. It's the best app that I found to automate the sharing and the likers of your closet and make those automated offers to likers. Excuse me. Can't recommend this enough. This in conjunction with Simple Posture have driven my sales through the roof.